Hey there, Jen here, and this is a happy bit. So it's February, and that means sometimes your family can catch the flu, or sometimes things get tricky. Moods get low, and people get grumpy, and the sun doesn't seem to be shining. Life happens. How do you stay happy? How do you stay vibrant when life seems a little bit harder than usual? I have three steps for you. Number one, go to bed. Get in bed and stay there if you need to. Take a nap. I had a few home births with my kids, and I had midwives who assisted with those. Well, I remember at our appointments, the prenatal appointments before the births, they pulled my husband aside and said, Dad, an important rule for you. It is your job to make sure your wife stays in bed, on the bed, or around the bed for two weeks. So they said we had five days of each, five days in bed, five days on the bed, five days around the bed. The idea of rest. And he took it seriously. And so every time I had a baby, it was one of the best two weeks of my life because I got to rest. I didn't have to do a thing. How can you build more rest into your life? Our bodies cycle. We go up and down. We have times of ovulation and higher energy and then progesterone phase right, right after that where things settle down a little lower and the energy decreases. We cycle, right? But sometimes we think we should always be up. Well, if it's true that we cycle, then shouldn't we have times when we rest? And the same is true in the seasons. We cycle. Summer is a higher energy time where we're outside. Winter is a time to pull back and to rest and to shift into that feminine yin energy where we just quietly listen to our intuition and rest and let whatever thoughts come, come to get out of that masculine go, go, go energy for a while. So I hereby give you permission to rest. Rest is so good for you. It is part of your normal cycle. It makes those higher energy times more productive when we take those quiet, reflective times to rest. That is step one. Step two, take a look at your thoughts. What are you thinking each day? Do you wake up and think, oh, another gray day. It's icy and cold. This day is going to be awful. Shift it. Shift into your gratitude. And I've said it before, three things you're grateful for. Oh, I love how my daughter hugs me and I love her beautiful eyelashes and those pretty blue eyes I get to look into. I love that my husband is making shepherd's pie for dinner. I love that our kids are being so helpful around the house recently. Just shift into the gratitude and start training and retraining and reminding your brain to go where you want it to go. As Jim Fortin says, be the thinker of your thoughts. It's kind of like stepping out of yourself and making sure you're aware of what you're thinking and asking yourself, do these thoughts serve me? Your thoughts create your feelings and your thoughts create your reality. Be the thinker of your thoughts. Choose the positive thoughts. Choose the empowering thoughts that help you to feel the way you want to feel and that give you the outcomes you want to have. Step three, and this one is important, especially for those of us who are moms who are stuck in routines that can start to feel a little bit blah. Get out of the box. Do something out of your comfort zone. Experience something that's out of the norm for you. Why? Well, this activates a different way of thinking in your brain. It makes you feel excited. It makes you stimulated in various ways so you can feel like, wow, something new. Now, for some of us, Thinking out of the box can be scary. We don't want to do it. Getting out of our comfort zone can be hard, but all good things are on the other side of fear and discomfort. And so I, at this point, love thinking out of the box. How can I challenge myself today? Because I know the amazing things that will happen on the other side. For example, I am going to be speaking at a local event in Madison in April. And it's speaking, right? That's scary. I've done it before, but it's still a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm going to do it. And I know that all good things are on the other side of fear. Speaking of speaking, I'm going to have a local meetup here in Madison, Wisconsin. And if you would like to be a part of it, we're going to get together a few times a year. Those of you who are within driving distance of Madison, Wisconsin, please shoot me an email at support at I'm going to give you the info on where and when we're going to meet. 
It's our own little personal vibrant, happy women meet up. I can't wait. Again, email me at support at jenride.com to be a part of that Madison, Wisconsin meetup with me. I can't wait. So to recap, the three steps are get in bed and sleep. <laughs> Number two, be the thinker of your thoughts. Choose the thoughts that serve you. And step three, think out of the box. Get out of your comfort zone and do those things that are new and novel and exciting. Make your own fun. And remember, all good things are on the other side of fear. And that is my happy bit for you today. Quick reminder, we are still running that giveaway from the 100th episode where you can win an Amazon gift card for $100. We're giving away several. Enter to win if you haven't already by going to jenriday.com forward slash giveaway. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Vibrant Happy Women podcast at www.jenriday.com.